Based on statistics from the USDA, total national cheese consumption in the United States reached approximately 12.4 billion pounds of cheese and approximately 38.5 pounds of cheese per individual for the year. This shows that cheese consumption in the United States is quite high and the importance of cheese in the American diet. A particular type of cheese that is very popular in the United States is Parmesan cheese, which costs more than $1,000. The average wheel of cheese weighs 88 pounds meaning it costs more than $11 a pound, which might not sound like much, but it's more than double the price of a regular cheddar. Let's visit a dairy farm in Parma, Italy, to learn how cheese is made and why it is so expensive. Parmesan cheese comes from the Emilia-Romagna and Lombardy regions of Italy. It has a long history, being produced in the traditional way from the 13th century onward. Currently, there are about 350 cooperatives and factories producing Parmesan cheesecakes in the Emilia-Romagna and Lombardy regions. Each manufacturer follows strict standards to ensure the quality and origin of the product. One wheel of Parmesan cheese takes at least a year to make to produce 131 calories of milk, and it can only be made in a small area in northern Italy. Parmesan cheese is big business in Italy. An average of 3.6 million wheels of cheese are produced each year, and the industry is worth 2.2 billion euros, or about 2.5 billion US dollars, making this cheese one of Italy's largest exports. The process of making Parmesan cheese uses three main ingredients, fresh cow's milk, salt, and rennet. numbers to produce an average wheel of Parmesan cheese of about 40 kilo, it takes 600 liters of fresh milk to produce. Fresh cow's milk is collected from Jersey or Friesian cows, which have the best milk quality for Parmesan cheese production. The milk is then heated, and a thickener is added to solidify the milk into a hard bottom. After solidification, the hard bottom of the milk is cut into small cube-shaped pieces. Each tablet is just the right size for packaging. The interesting number here is that an average Parmesan wheel will contain about 500 to 600 of these little balls. Parmesan cheesecake needs to age for at least 12 months before it can be called Parmigiano Reggiano. However, more premium varieties of Parmesan are typically aged for about 18 months to 36 months or even longer. There are Parmesan cakes that are aged for up to 48 months, creating a special flavor and great firmness. During the aging process, Parmesan cheesecakes will lose weight. An average wheel of Parmesan cheese initially weighs about 38 to 40 kilograms, but after aging, the weight can decrease to about 30 kilograms. This number shows the degree of dehydration and how the cheesecake changes over time to create a particular firmness and flavor. The taste and quality of Parmesan cheese are the deciding factors that make it so expensive and unique. 
Parmesan cheese has a rich, original, and slightly fatty flavor. This is the result of careful manufacturing and a long aging process. Parmesan cheese has a hard and crunchy texture, with a bright color and clear texture on the surface. An average Parmesan wheel has a hardness comparable to that of wood. The quality of Parmesan cheesecakes is thoroughly tested and evaluated. Only products that meet high standards can be called Parmigiano Reggiano. A basic test includes hardness testing, aroma testing, purity testing, and moisture testing. A wheel of special Parmesan cheese, aged longer, can cost up to several hundred dollars or even close to one thousand dollars for a piece. This demonstrates the uniqueness and appreciation consumers have for this product. Parmesan cheese has special relevance to the United States and has become an important part of its cuisine and culinary culture. Each year, the United States imports and consumes thousands of tons of Parmesan cheese from Italy and other countries. In 2022, the United States imported about $100 million worth of cheese from Italy. Parmesan cheese is widely used in many favorite American dishes. It is often sprinkled on pasta, used in lasagna dishes, used to make grilled cheese, and sprinkled on Caesar salad. What do you think about this expensive cheese? Have you enjoyed it yet? Please comment to let us know. following sections, we will introduce you to even more special and unique things. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel to get more useful information about expensive things in the world.